no question, epigenetics is absolutely critical. And one of the biggest problems in treating neurodegenerative diseases has been that we have used in the past very tiny data sets. So we check your serum sodium and serum potassium. We don't know your genome. We don't know your epigenome. We don't know your metabolome. We don't know your exposome so forth and so on. And so as you now start to get this information, you can actually see for each person what's driving the process. Why is this person pursuing this path? And therefore, of course, much more how to prevent it and how to reverse it. And no question epigenetics will play an important role in these processes. The inflammatory piece, of course, you know, we need that as long as you've got the activation of your innate immune system, you are going to continue to produce more amyloid as part of that, and you're going to defeat the attempts to reverse the process. The book has been on the New York Times bestseller list for almost five months now. Uh, and um, was on again last week, which is, uh, was, I was happy to see. Um, and it's going to come out in 24 languages this year. Uh, and when people have read that, then the next thing to do, um, IFM uh, gives a course on reversal of cognitive decline, in, in which I'm involved. Uh, and you can also stream it, so you can do it directly from your computer. Uh, and I think this is the next stage. Um, and then we're also setting up a certification uh, that'll be the third stage. There's controversy about what's the best way, whether you should use monotherapeutics and uh, go after the kind of the standard approach to neurodegeneration, uh, or whether you should do a more multimodal approach. But of course, this sort of multimodal approach is starting to become more and more popular. Uh, we think in terms of precision medicine for cancers especially, and we think more and more in terms of, uh, instead of getting the silver bullet, we want to get the silver buckshot, targeting the different critical uh, inducers of cognitive decline. Some recent work out of Institute for Systems Biology looking at much larger data sets to say, look, we can really identify these complex chronic illnesses before they are symptomatic and prevent them or in uh, early stages reverse them. Uh, and I think you're right, this is true for many different chronic illnesses. And I think this is 21st century medicine.